Hello everyone, this is Hadrian. Thank you for watching. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. We have arrived creepily, eerily even, in the <laughs> Pleasant Valley Farmstead. I say creepily and eerily because this was the place where I... Oh good, there's some more firewood. That's handy. This was the place where I had set up camp in the first... Hey, another magnifying lens. There's just all kinds of stuff in here. This is where I had set up... Oh, Wilderness oh, Kitchen. Cooking skill. Excellent. All right. Um, this is where I'd set up camp the first season of Against All Odds. Uh, this is where I was trying to get back to before I died. So I was saying in the previous episode that I feel kind of like a ghost right now. Um, this is also the first time I've been in here since they made the lighting changes where everything is so much more visible indoors. It's great. Another storm lantern there. Plenty of lantern fuel. All right. Nothing in there. Anything in the drawer? We've got a lot to go through here. There's also going to be some water in the toilet. I think there's also a... Um, I think there's also a, uh, a toilet upstairs. So we're going to get plenty of water from this place. Come to think of it, I'm not going to need to use the wood that I've gathered right away. Okay, pork and beans. We're going to find lots of food here. And then I'm going to put most of it back up. Stacy's grape soda. Oh, sorry. Not just any grape soda. <laughs> okay. It feels good to be back here, though. It does. This, I mean, I'm not going to stick around here this time because the weather here is just not reliable, but if the weather were better, I'd be all over it. Like, this place is not exactly um, the, the, the neatest place in the world. It's definitely been torn up and raided by, by other people that have tried to survive through this area. Um, not other players, literally. If you've not played the Lawn Dark before, it's not, uh, it's not multiplayer yet. But, um, let's see. Anything... Okay, no, that's just a stove. Nothing else I can do here. Hey, okay, what's that? Another can opener. Sure, why not? What's in the fridge? Anything? Anything worthwhile? Nothing. Okay, empty fridge. That sucks. Uh, white fish. I'm gonna leave that in the freezer for now. Actually, I might put it outside. If I was confident it wouldn't attract a bear. <laughs> All right, now let's go back upstairs. Super creepy children's blocks. This is probably the only house in the Long Dark that has this much personality, this much sense... Well, they all have personality, but as far as just having a sense of place and a sense of there was a family that once lived here. They had a child, you know? Um, I think I can put those socks back down. Um, don't really need them, but... But yeah, just the sense of place in the Pleasant Valley Farmstead is just outstanding. Okay, I might sleep in here. This this might be the spot where I sleep. Because I can put stuff that I find in this cabinet. Right, what else do I need to do up here? People were joking with me in the first season of Against All Odds because I always get lost in here. <laughs> oh, man. Especially at night, like, I, I get turned around, and I'm, I'm trying to find my way through this place, and it's just super, super scary. Not scary, just, it's confusing. At least to me. Dang it. <laughs> Beef jerky, more orange soda, another drawer. Please have some, these drawers have been unusually empty this run. And that's yet another empty drawer. There's a book, at least. Yeah, I am weighing myself down right now, I'm picking up so much stuff. Okay. I think, yeah, I've been in here. This is where I said I might sleep. Ha! Here's the other toilet. That's good to know. I'm going to go through these drawers. There's just so much stuff going on in Pleasant Valley Farmstead. And there's other stuff nearby as well. So. More newsprint. Just have to put down my stuff soon because, yeah, she's getting tired and I have lots of time left in the day. I don't want to... Oh, here's a down ski jacket. That's handy. I'm just going to leave that there, though, because that's there's no point picking it up. Okay, and last but not least, get some more water. Sweet! We got a gallon of water from this house, which is going to weigh me down, unfortunately. Water is the heaviest thing you can carry in the Lawn Dark, which makes perfect sense. Carrying a gallon of water around is painful but also very helpful <laughs> at the same time. Okay. Oh, medicine shelf. I knew there was something else. Here's a bandage. Very good. 
Awesome. Okay. I think that's everything. I'm going to go down to the fridge. And we're going to put food up. And then I think there's a... Uh, actually, you know what? There's some. I've got some wood I'm going to put down right now. Yes. Drop that. Drop that. Oh my gosh. I've, I've picked up a bunch of stuff, haven't I? Alright, and then I've got a bunch of books. A whole bunch. I've got seven pounds worth of books. I'm going to drop all those. I have a wilderness kitchen book. I feel like there was another book that I found at some point, and maybe I set it down at my previous place? Is that what I did? Or maybe? Oh, no, I know what I did. I set it down at my safe house on the ground, I think, so that I wouldn't miss it. Um, I think that's what I did. So I just need to remember that it's there. But see, I kind of just want to use this now to improve my cooking skill. But first, I want to go through the stuff that I picked up. All right. Now it's mostly food. Since I put the wood down and the books down, I just need to come over here and put up a bunch of stuff that I found. But first, you're going to see me actually make use of the fact that I just picked up all this stuff. So, let's drink. Fill up our thirst meter all the way. Actually, I put it, I should have eaten first. That was a dumb move. But, all right, let's go ahead and eat this stale granola bar. So you, can, you can see the food is actually lowering my... The energy bar doesn't affect your thirst. The granola does. Interesting. Beef jerky definitely does. I think the chocolate bar will also affect my thirst a bit. But I'm going to put that away too. Alright, perfect. Now, let's sort everything by weight. And let's put up a bunch of stuff. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put everything up. And then just cherry pick what I need again. So I definitely need that MRE on me. We're going to keep that. Actually... I really don't need that. I mean, I, I could have that on me, but it's only 0.18 pounds right now. It's not going to give me that many more calories, so that's worth keeping an eye on. Also, did I pick up a clothing item? Yes, I did. I'm just going to put those in the fridge. <laughs> Socks in the fridge. That's how we do it. Um, There is nothing else. I'm just carrying so much water now. Holy crap. Um, I guess I can put down... Hey, what? I'm going to come over here. I did pick up some, some tools as well, so let me put down my can opener here. Put down the worst of the two hunting knives, put down the magnifying lens, put down one of the rifle cleaning kits, put down the higher condition of the two sewing kits. Okay. I'm still carrying a ton of water, so this is going to be... A little obnoxious, but just like I did in season one, I'm going to put some of my stuff up here in a slightly less organized fashion because eventually I'll be taking all of it out of here. Or as much of it as I can carry, anyway. Okay. Pretty tired, so I don't have a whole lot of time on me, but I think, with the energy I've got left, I think I can try to make a trip up to Signal Mountain. I hear some wind outside, which is not good. Hopefully it's not going to be too much. Oh, hey. I haven't explored out here yet. More accelerant. Very good. Crowbar and... I'll pick up the newsprint roll. I'll leave the crowbar, though. I don't really need it. Alright, right, this is not good. Oh, you know what? Okay, good. I did pick up my, be my bedroll. For a second, I thought I left my bedroll behind. Which would not have been good at all. Try and speak up because I know there's wind. I like to keep the uh, the sound effects pretty high, despite the fact that there are certain things like wind and waterfalls that can make me harder to hear. But that makes it just more fun when it's loud, and I feel like I have to raise my voice to make sure that you guys can still hear me the same way that you would if you were walking next to someone and talking to them in a very windy or noisy situation like this. But I'm going to try and make my way up there. And we can stay up there if we need to. So if I get too tired doing this, then I'll just stay up there and we'll be fine. But you guys might remember this location as the spot where I got the Nightwalker achievement in Against All Odds Season 1. Of course, I got Nightwalker much earlier this time. I don't even remember when it happened in Against All Odds Season 2, but it has happened already. I spent a night outside. I think it was when I was, um... That's right, I was uh, spending a night in a uh, in a cave earlier in the series, before I left Mystery Lake. That yeah, was nice and fun. By fun, I mean not. <laughs> it was terrifying, thank you very much. It was absolutely horrifying. Um... I don't have a snare on me, but I do requires 10 sticks and 3 cloth to build. Okay. 
So I need to pick up sticks and have cloth on me to build a snow shelter. Good to know. So when I get up to the top here, I'm going to see if there are some cloth items to where I can keep three cloth on me. Because I don't have three cloth right now. I could definitely go back and get it. Um, and build a snow shelter in here. But it's just, it's handy to have if I need to hunker down at night. But it leaves me vulnerable to wildlife. That's the problem. Alright, nothing in the mailbox. Okay, let's do this. We're going to go up and around. Signal Hill is up there. We're going to use a very similar path to the way I did um, the last time. Only, I think when I went up to Signal Hill and Against All Odds Season 1, I did it in the dark. I think it was completely in the dark. I need to be careful here because this there is a bear cave nearby. I don't want to walk up a hill blindly. By the way, you know, I know that the wind is loud. If you guys think maybe I need to turn it down a notch, let me know. And I will definitely do that uh, the next time I record. But for now, I just want to keep this these settings uh, where they are. So there's the cave. I don't know that I see a bear in it, though. I'm going to go up to the top of this hill to give me a little bit better of a vantage point. Oh, there's the bear. There's the bear. There's a dead wolf or a dead deer over there. Alright. Well, that bear is, like, right where I need to be. Let's see. Let's see where he or she goes. Can I get into your cave while you're not looking? Can I do that? I think I can. This could be the worst decision I've ever made, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> I'm going to come over here. Yeah, the bear is walking over there. Yeah, there's definitely some wind coming in. Definitely a storm. So there's bones. Doesn't appear to be anything of value back here, which is not surprising. This is an active bear den, so there's not gonna there's not gonna be anything in here. I'm gonna get moving. Yeah. All right. Good. The bear does appear to be circling around, which will allow me. So it's actually going over that over there to that deer. So I just need to sneak by it over here, which I think I'll be able to do. All right. Good. It's feeding. Hopefully that means it's distracted. Unfortunately, because I just did a little bit of sprinting, I am more tired now. And there is wind, and the wind is helping to slow me down a bit. So, okay, the bear actually looks like it's going up the hill now, which is... I, I needed you to be distracted by that kill for a little while longer, but you're now going exactly in... You're, you're in an intersect path. You're on an intercept course. I need to get up that hill, damn you. Did I just hear a wolf? The bear's looking right at me now. But I don't think it's actually coming after me. I don't think it sees me. That's good. What I'm going to do is head up here. This is my slope. This is where I need to go. If I can just make it up this hill without the bear chasing me, I should be in good shape. Yay for bears. Actually, I think this is the same bear um, that I ran into at the top of Signal Hill. So it does patrol all the way to the top. So my business with, with this bear might not be done. <laughs> I could run into it again. I might run into it again right now if it started coming up around this rock. We need to get up this hill. Oh, no. They're right. Okay, good. We got away from the bear. We're safe. And I am heading up here as rapidly as possible. I'm getting pretty tired, so I'm definitely going to need to rest. Yeah, my encumbrant, my, my carrying capacity has started to, to drop. Signal Hill is actually a little farther off than I thought it was. I'm going to have to be careful here just to make sure there's not a second bear. 
Yeah, I think that bear patrols all the way up here and up close to the facility at the top of Signal Hill, which is nuts, but it, it definitely happens. Oh, hey, there's a climbing point. I didn't know that. And there's a rope set up already, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to peek over here real quick. I'm not going to attempt it right now. Good Lord, no. I'm encumbered and I'm tired. That would be suicide. But I feel like I feel like this is new. This this seems this seems new. Or maybe it's not. Maybe maybe because I feel like one of the climbing points I discovered in Against All Odds season one, like right after they'd been instituted and when Timberwolf Mountain was added. No, I think that's the cave down there. I just might not have seen this because I was trying to avoid the bear, but interesting. That's good to know. All right, so we're getting pretty tired. I need to head up. Plus, the, the weather is starting to look a little uh, a little threatening. Anytime a breeze starts in Pleasant Valley, you want to generally be indoors within six hours. Tops. Because, I mean, you can see what the treetops are doing right now. It's, it's not looking friendly. Oh, I thought I saw something come over the hill at me just now. <laughs> I literally thought something was like right to my left. Okay, we're close to Signal Hill now. This has definitely been a harrowing trip though. This is a lot of uphill, in the wind climbing. But thankfully, we're plenty warm. We have all the materials that we need to be completely wrapped in furs, as the achievement is named. And it's paying off in that we're in this really cold wind where, hang on, just so you can see how cold it is. It's four degrees with a negative two wind chill. It feels like 45 because we have over 65 degrees worth of temperature bonus from our clothing. Well, that's awesome. All right, so we've arrived at the top of Signal Hill. Just making sure there's not a second bear anywhere. <laughs> I was inside this fence. The bear was outside of it. Yeah, that, it was absolutely terrifying. All right, we've arrived at Signal Hill. There's another rope tie-off point. So if there's a rope inside here, I'll be able to... Uh... Oh, that's handy, actually. If there's a rope inside here, I'll be able to just put a rope down to maybe the bottom of the mountain. Maybe? That would be an awesome way to get up here. I feel I feel like it's a little too high for one climbing rope, so there might need to be two. But awesome. Okay, so we are indoors at the Signal Hill facility. Gonna see what's in these lockers. Not much apparently. Energy bar, there we go. I knew you'd make this worth my while. More antibiotics, that's good. The rifle cartridge, that's also good. How many rifle cartridges do I have? Good lord. I have... I almost have enough cartridges to fully... Re to, to not only empty my current clip, but also... to refill it. Twice. <laughs> so this is awesome. And here's another rifle. Let's have a look at it. Let's see if there's some bullets in it. Not currently loaded. Drop it. Don't need it if it's not loaded. I was just seeing if there were bullets. Hey, there's a candy bar. Very good. There's another bullet. Very good. Another cartridge, rather. The bullet is just the thing in the tip of the cartridge, people. It's what leaves the gun. Um. Hey, rifle ammunition. Five more rounds. Insulated boots. Don't need those. Because we have deerskin boots. And pants and boots and pants. Right, filing cabinet, no, ooh, tin of coffee? Sure, why not? I came here to gather everything, so I will gather everything, so help me God. I, oh, wait, I've already been through this. Already been through this. Now, there's one more little area in here. Another, wow, another expedition parka. I found so many of those this game. Holy, cr oh, wow. Here's some food, too. Very good condensed milk, pinnacle peaches, wood matches, water bottle. Rifle cleaning kit, microwave, another fire striker, anything in the microwave? Nope. I'm going to ignore the rifle cleaning kit because I feel like I have enough of those already. Uh, what have we here? More cargo pants! 
Cargo pants are more common in this playthrough of the Long Dark than any past playthrough I have done. It's insane. Hey, peanut butter. That's what I want to find. And water. Actually, finding all this water is really not good. Um, there's a lot of food up here, which is nice. And because the return trip to the bottom is downhill, um, it, it'll be okay. But... Hey, wait, here's some more stuff here. Another emergency stem. Because it's downhill, um, I'll be able to get by with carrying a lot, but I didn't need this much extra water. I've got ov almost a gallon and a half of water on me now. It's just, uh, it's just not necessary. All right, um, tell you what, I'm going to drink this soda first of all, because that's going to free up some weight. Also gave me some calories, which is good. Then I'm going to drink this water to free up some weight, but not much. Yeah, I'm, I'm carrying a lot at this point. Aid kit. Oh, wait, here's a metal container. Oddly enough, there has not been a... R oh, more rifle rounds. Really? Holy crap. Look at this. <laughs> I'm now ready almost to refill the rifle three times. I have never had this many bullets in the long dark. I'm going to be able to actually continue to use the rifle for a long time. Assuming I can kill animals with each of these 27 shots, this is... holy crap. Alright, see, I'm going to break down this cardboard box to see if there's anything behind it, just to prove this point. Okay, that does not prove the point. <laughs> there's nothing behind the cardboard box. Uh, let's see, let me go ahead and light the lantern, because I want to make sure I'm catching everything in here. Already went through the first aid kit. There's nothing underneath the lockers. There's nothing in that rifle. Nothing underneath the desks. There's some insulated boots that I'm not going to do anything with. There's that book. There's a broken metal control box, which I could break down with a hacksaw if I had one, but I don't think I have it with me. Do I? No, I do not. I have... It's back at uh, Coastal Valley. Or Coastal Highway. <laughs> Alright, so I think what I'm going to do... Let me pick up that coffee, too. Because coffee! I'm not a coffee drinker, as I've told you guys before. I'm a tea drinker, but... Hey, what? I don't have the heart to break down a good expedition, Parker, but I will break down some cargo pants. Not feel bad about it at all. All right, so let's go ahead and harvest these. Which should give me some cloth. That's actually less cloth than I would have thought. I think I mentioned this in the previous episode of Against All Odds. That is not a lot of cloth. How much cloth do I have on me now? Four pieces? Okay, now I just need to pick up the sticks that I need, uh, which is ten sticks, I think. And, th yeah, ten sticks and three cloth in order to build the snow shelter. And then is that reusable, I wonder? Can you pick it all back up? Can you break down the snow shelter that you built? I don't know. Yeah, see, this is just such a good expedition park. I'm just going to leave it here. I, I don't... I I've got some clothing in Pleasant Valley. Some backup clothing already. Oh, new peanut butter. Did I set that down? Or is there more... Hang on. Has that just been sitting on the floor the whole time, or did I drop it by accident somehow? Who knows? <laughs> That's my peanut butter. I'm not leaving that behind. I don't know how it ended up on the floor, but I'm glad I saw it. All right, and there's these wool socks, which I don't really need. Already been through the plastic container. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess what I need to do is rest. I've got three hours of daylight left. Let's rest for seven hours. This is going to put us in the middle of the night, give us a chance to wake up. Oh, question marks. Lovely. Here comes that blizzard that I was worried would uh, show up. Okay. Don't have any conditions yet, but we are pretty thirsty. Just in time to drink some more. Actually, you know what? Let's leave it at that. And I'm going to eat these pinnacle peaches because that'll help with my thirst and my hunger. There we go. For those of you wondering how I did that, I just hit escape while I was drinking, and it took care of it. It was awesome. I'm going to eat this energy bar, too. Ooh, I've got a crappy granola bar. You know what? That's moldy. I'm not going to I'm not gonna risk that. And then 291 calories from the military-grade MRE. Let me drink this. I'm not thirsty. Perfect. All right. don't know how many hours of darkness I have left, but I'm going to try and rest for four. There it is. We have six... Yeah, I might actually wake up fully rested, which is not good. Um, 
Right, we're going to pass the time for an hour. Okay, let's pass the time for two hours. And then what I will do is rest for one, recover some of my energy meter. And then I'm just going to drink some more water. I think it's going to be time. Yeah, definitely need to drink some more water, which is perfect. It helps me reduce the weight that I'm carrying. I'll go ahead and eat these sardines as well. Perfect. And now let's let's take a look outside, shall we? Let's see how it looks. Just can't see where I'm going. Here we go. Let's see if the weather's improved at all. Hopefully there's not a bear outside. Oh yeah. Oh perfect. Beautiful weather. Gorgeous sunrise in Pleasant Valley. We're gonna we're gonna do this just like we did as a tribute <laughs> to Against All Odds Season 1. I did this when I was up here after my Nightwalker achievement. I'm up here. And we're gonna watch the sunrise for a bit. But um I will also use this as a moment to end the episode, so we'll keep this going at the beginning of the next episode. It's just getting prettier and prettier over there. But thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I upload new episodes and Against All Odds every day at 6, Eastern Daylight Time, which is GMT minus 4, for those of you not in the States. And comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in a bit.